Unit 2. Accidents. Accidents. Reading 1. In 2004, there were 230 child fatalities due to accidents in Glan and Wales, the highest numbers being in 5 to 14 year olds. The common cause of accidental injury in children presenting to UK hospitals is falls. Others include suffocating and choking, burns and scalds, and poisoning. A recent report by the Audit Commission and Healthcare Commission states that each year there are 2 million response calls to accident and emergency departments by children as a result of accidents that might have been prevented. Accidents are more common in the lower socioeconomic groups. Vocabulary 1. Number 1. Word fatalities meaning casualty. Number 2. Word common meaning general. Number 3. Word injury meaning wound. Number four, word falls, meaning fall down. Number five, word suffocating, meaning making it difficult to breathe normally. Number six, word choking, meaning to be unable to breathe because the passage to your lungs is blocked or you cannot get enough air to make somebody unable to breathe. Number seven, word scalds, meaning an injury to the skin from very hot liquid or steam. Number eight, word states meaning if you state something, you say or write it in a formal or definite way. Number nine, word attendances, meaning number present. Number ten, word prevented, meaning to stop something from happening. Reading two. Frailty and health problems make the elderly, particularly those over the age of 75, at increased risk of accidents, usually occurring in the home. Falls are the most common cause. Inability to get up after falling puts the person at risk of hypothermia and pressure sores. Hip fractures after falls are a major cause of morbidity and mortality. NICE guidelines were issued in 2004 on the assessment and prevention of falls in older people. They state that older people should be asked routinely if they have fallen the past year. Those who have fallen or those considered at risk of falling should have a multi-fracture falls risk assessment and should be considered for interventions including those to improve their strength and balance and remove any home hazards. Vocabulary 2. Number 1. Word frailty meaning weakness. Number 2. Word occurring meaning happen. Number 3. Word inability meaning the fact of not being able to do something. Number 4. Word hypothermia, meaning dangerous low body temperature. Number five, word pressure sores, meaning decubitus ulcer. Number six, word fracture, meaning crack in a bone. Number seven, word morbidity, meaning connected with a disease. Number eight, word mortality, meaning death. Number nine, word routinely, meaning regularly. Number 10. Word multifactorial, meaning involving many features or elements. Number 11. Word interventions, meaning if you intervene in a situation, you become involved in it and try to change it. Interference. Number 12. Word hazards, meaning danger. Reading through. In England and Wales in 2004, there were 3,892 accidental deaths in and around the home. Those most at risk of serious or fatal injury in the home are young children and the elderly. Falls are the most common type of accidents. In 2004, fire brigades attended 442,700 fires in the UK. There were 508 fire-related deaths and 14,600 non-fatal injuries. A large proportion of fires in homes were accidental, the main causes being misuse of equipment, appliances, and chip pan fires. Vocabulary 3. Number 1. Word serious, meaning dangerous. Number 2. Word casualty, meaning sufferer. Number 3. Word proportion, meaning part. Number 4. Word misuse, meaning to use something in the wrong way. Number five, word equipment, meaning tools. Number six, word chip pan fires, meaning fires created from cooking chipped potatoes in hot fat. 
Reading for. During 2005 and 2006, there were 148,713 occupational injuries reported, of which 212 were fatal. All places of work are potentially dangerous, whether an oil rig, a coal mine, a factory, an office, or a kitchen. The Health and Safety Executive has stipulated rules about safety in the workplace. It also has the necessary powers to inspect and enforce them. Safety equipment must be worn. Risks must be appreciated. Every workplace should have a safety officer who is responsible for identifying danger and advocating action. As doctors, we have a duty to be aware of measure to prevent infection and needle stick injury. Vocabulary 4 Number 1. Word occupational, meaning work-related. Number 2. Word potentially, meaning the possibility of something happening or being developed or used. Number 3. Word rig, meaning a rig is a large structure that is used for looking for oil and gas and for taking it out of the ground or the seabed. Number 4. Word coal mine, meaning a coal mine is a place where coal is dug out of the ground. Number five, word stipulated, meaning to state clearly and firmly that something must be done, specify. Number six, word measure, meaning when someone, usually a government or other authority, takes measures to do something, they carry out particular actions in order to achieve a particular result. Number seven, word safety, meaning protection. Number eight, word inspect, meaning to look closely at something, somebody, examine. Number 9, word enforce, meaning implement, impose. Number 10, word appreciated, meaning understand. Number 11, word identifying, meaning find. Number 12, word advocating, meaning promote.